Hey everybody, this is award-winning chef Kevin Watson and this is the culinary check-in. We are at the Savoy restaurant in Pittsburgh where I'm the executive chef and today we're going to be making Beef Two Ways. Beef Two Ways is one of our signature dishes at Savoy and we're going to show you the process on how we get this dish done. So let's get started. One of the first things we want to do is we want to prepare our brisket. The brisket is uh, one of the pieces of meat that's on the beef two ways. We'll cut this guy into three pieces, three equal sized portions. And then we're gonna take it over to our rondeau and sear it. So I have our rondeau heating up on the grill. And I'm gonna take some oil. I like to use a combination of canola oil and olive oil, a little bit of seasoning salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper, we're going to season both sides. with seasoning salt and fresh cracked black pepper. And we're gonna check our rondo to make sure it's hot. Just take a, a piece of the meat. Once you hear that searing, we're ready to go. Put the brisket in. And we're just gonna allow these guys to uh, caramelize and get some color on both sides. And once they do that, we're going to take them out of the pan, cool them down because we have to put them in a vacuum seal bag. What the vacuum seal bag does is it's going to contain all the juices and seasonings and flavors from the meat that we put on the meat, and then they're just going to marinate inside that inside that bag. Once we do that, we're going to drop them into our our thermal recirculator, which is right here. This machine is going to cook the beef brisket for 24 hours at that temperature. This meat is going to be so tender you can eat it with a, a plastic spoon. So once the meat is, is ready to go, we're going to pull it down like I said, put it in our vacuum seal bags, drop it in the hot tank, and then we're going to set it for 24 hours. Okay, let's check these guys. Beautiful color. That is awesome. This guy looks good. He looks good. We're going to get some color on the bottom side. We're going to take him out of here, put him on the pan, cool him down, and then we're going to put him in our vacuum seal bags and drop him in our hot tank. Okay, so we have our cauliflower process. We washed it, we cut it down into nice equal portions. We're just going to sweat the cauliflower uh, and some shallots and a little bit of butter. We get that in there. We're gonna take our shallots. The shallots are have a great flavor. It's almost like the taste of a, a onion and garlic if they got married. Get our cauliflower in there. We're gonna put our heavy cream in there. About halfway. We'll cover it. And we're going to let this guy cook for about 20 minutes. Take a look at the cauliflower. That looks awesome. It's nice and tender. It's ready to go. We're going to strain it, put it in a food processor, and we're going to make our silk. We'll strain the cream off. Put the cauliflower in the food processor. Put a pinch of white pepper and a pinch of sea salt. We season it after it comes off the stove. And we're going to add the cauliflower milk back into the food processor to smooth it out a little bit. That looks amazing. And you can see it has a really uh, smooth, silky texture to it. 
and it should have a little bit of body also. We're going to uh, heat up our, our demi gloss. This is a this is a veal stock, and the demi gloss is half veal stock, half veal sauce, and we reduce that by half. We're gonna put our flat iron on the grill. Heat that up. And then we're gonna heat up our beef cubes. So once we get a little bit of color on all sides, we're gonna pop them in the oven and heat them internally. You don't wanna burn the shallots, you just wanna sweat them. We're just gonna make them a little bit of tender. A little bit more oil, add our green beans, salt grains. We'll take the beef cube, place that guy right there in the middle. We'll take our flat iron, slice the flat iron down. And that is Beef Two Ways. Hey, this is award-winning chef Kevin Watson. Thanks for checking in with us. For more information, check us out at SavoyPGH.com.